like that, we're done, guys. Look at this. So we're gonna start by moving this white melted chocolate down with a tool, just like so, to make the bottom of the ghost, okay? So this is melted, and all I did was use a spoon to put a little glob right onto this parchment paper, which is exactly what you need to do. Perfect. So once we have that, we're gonna go ahead and start dipping our chocolate. So we're gonna go ahead and get a strawberry, get a toothpick, put the toothpick right through, and we're gonna go ahead and dip it fully into our white chocolate. So you wanna fully coat it. You wanna get the very top as best as possible to fully make the ghost shape. Now, I always like to take off the stem and the leaf just because I don't feel like there's any need for it. Now we're gonna go ahead and put right on top of the chocolate and we're gonna let that start hardening. And we're gonna keep doing this process for all of our strawberries, perfect. And if you're wondering, you know, what white chocolate did I use? It's actually called By the Cup and it comes in these little wafers. You can use any of those little wafer chocolates. So don't think you need to use a certain one. It really does not matter. And we're gonna go ahead and put it down just like that, perfect. And we're gonna keep on going, guys. So I usually like to make three to four strawberries at a time because they're just so darn easy to eat right you can just eat a whole one so easily so i always make a few and if there's anyone around they'll probably want one too because they just come out looking so darn cute so it's always better to make a few at a time i would say perfect we're gonna go ahead put it down just like that and we're gonna go on to our last one so there we go now if you guys want you know, you guys can always use a different chocolate as well, but we're doing little ghosts, so using this white chocolate is usually best for this. Now, I always like to kind of tap, tap, tap to get off that excess white chocolate. Ooh. And if that happens, that's okay. It's bound to happen. There we go. Perfect. And we're gonna go ahead and put it onto our last little tail. So we're gonna let these sit for about five minutes and harden. So now that these have hardened, we're gonna go ahead and take one off and we're gonna decorate them one by one. So we're gonna start off with the eyeballs. So right here, what I have is some melted white chocolate in a piping bag. And I actually mixed it with some black dye to get this grayish color. After we do those eyeballs, we're gonna go ahead and do this mouth. So it should look like this. It does not have to be perfect, but just look around the lines of that, okay? So this is supposed to be fun, guys. You know, if it doesn't come out exactly as you wanted, don't be too hard on yourselves. This is just for fun. All right, perfect. And something else I love about this, you know, it really is an activity to make these. So if you have kids, if you have a significant other, if you have a best friend. This is definitely something that you guys can all do together. You could do it with your sibling. It is just a whole bunch of fun because these things not only taste amazing, but they are just so darn fun to create. And you know, I'm showing you this face and eyeball, but you guys can always get creative. You know, if you guys wanna to try to create some little goblins, go ahead and do that. But today we're just doing ghosts because I think that they're so cute for this Halloween season. All right. And as you can see, the reason why we use the parchment paper is so when they are dried and hardened, they come right off so easy. Without parchment paper, the chocolate could actually stick to another uh, surface. Perfect. So these are all looking so good. We're gonna let these sit and harden and then we're gonna add some blush. We're gonna go ahead and add some blush to all of these super cute ghosts. So go ahead and get a brush. You can use a paintbrush or a makeup brush, whatever you have at home. And go ahead and dip it in there and just apply the blush just like that. And we're gonna do the other side as well. Now this blush step is completely optional, but I think they look so, so cute with a little blush, okay? 
Look at that, perfect. That's one, and we're gonna go to the next one. Amazing, look at that. And if you don't have blush, you know, go ahead and skip this step. You don't need to do this at all by any means, but it is fun to just do. Another thing I like to do sometimes, I even add a little bow to these little ghosts, which can be very, very cute as well. I mean, you can really do anything with these. So that is the beauty of making them. You are the creator. You have full creative ability to do whatever you want with them. Perfect. Do a little bit on this side as well. Oh my goodness, look at how cute. Now we're gonna go ahead and plate these. So what I like to do is I get a slate plate just like this. And we're gonna go ahead and put them on one by one, just like that. Beautiful. And we'll do this guy. So this is how they should look. You know, if you're having a party, these look very appetizing and cute. It's easy to grab just like that. And just like that, we're done, guys. Look at this. Ooh. 